Well, the fact of the matter is that uh, the uprising in Bahrain around seven years ago was an uprising for uh, empowerment of the people, the standing up against dictatorship. And uh, they sort of the request and indeed the demands of the people were something so justifiable and so within the place of any human being sort of rights of existence within any society that is very difficult not to support it. As a matter of fact, I think all human rights organizations, um, uh, without any exceptions, have actually come out uh, against the Bahraini uh, dictatorship regime. And uh, they have actually demanded uh, that they should address the legitimate aspirations of the Bahraini people. I think the fact of the matter is that we uh, need to put pressure uh, on the Bahraini government and those who um, sort of uh, uh, unjustly supporting this regime. The reality is that it's not within the interest of British government or indeed the European government or the United States to support this regime abusing its power against its own citizens. Uh, our interest uh, internationally is first of all to stand up for a standards of human right and justice and secondly is to stand up for the wishes of the people of Bahrain rather than the dictatorship and uh, this sort of uh, policy of supporting dictatorship against the masses of people is exactly what happened during the Shah's regime in Iran and showed the misguided policy and how it backfired we should actually convince these powers that don't think short term, think about long term, think about the, we want to be friends with Bahraini people rather than their dictatorship which is abusing them. I think there is a misguided policy in Britain to think that short term interest and uh, you know some financial uh, contracts uh, it is actually what should be our interest. Our interest should be a long-term um, sort of relationship between the interest of ordinary people in Britain and ordinary people in Bahrain and coming together uh, and, and not seeing one another as abuser of, of each other. Uh, currently, the Bahraini citizens see United Kingdom as a supporter of oppression against them, supporter of torture against them, and uh, they see it as arming the torturers. Uh, and, and, and that is not going to have much interest for neither ourselves or the Bahrainis or anyone else in the international community. It's no doubt in my mind that British government is more aware than even ourselves as a human rights organization of all the abuses that is taking place. We have got in place in Bahrain, not just military, uh, you know, we got the political sort of uh, researchers within the embassy and indeed, uh, you know, police, uh, ex-police officers from Britain is training and actually running and managing these oppression in Bahrain. So there is no doubt that they know the extent of this and there is no doubt that they know that there is no willingness to change any direction. And this is uh, what... Uh, not only I know, but every Bahraini knows that. Everyone in the Middle East knows this. And Britain, by continuing this path, is actually uh, making a very sort of a tinted name for itself in the region. Well, uh, this, uh, this prince is, uh, has created so much havoc and so much death and destruction and, uh, you, you know, you, you just name it, you know, what is happening in Yemen, what is happening in Syria, uh, what is happening in Saudi Arabia itself. It is outrageous uh, that uh, we should be party to that, we should be supporting that. I mean, it is actually criminal, literally criminal under international law to support uh, the sort of war crimes that are being committed in Yemen. And, uh, you know, in, and in Bahrain, and, and the, the fact of the matter is that we are doing so, and this is really outrageous.